Hey guys, morning. Uh, it's a wonderful day today. And um, the sun's not even up over the mountains yet. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to swing this. Maybe you can. I don't know if you can see. God's just incredible creation. Amazing. Isn't that awesome? It's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, so this morning, um, just want to share with you on, on prayer again. And, um, you know, as I spoke to you guys on Monday, you know, just um, with regards to that, you know, that doubt and with regards to, you know, getting rid of all the, the prayer disappointments that you've had. And so this morning, I think I just want to, you know, carry on there, um, and, um, you know, I had such an amazing time this morning, you know, I think a lot of times um, our prayer life becomes very dry, because, you know, we sort of, we think we're creatures of habit, and, um, you know, creatures of habit tend to, you know, we tend to get into a rut, and, I mean, if we look at creation, we look at, um, you know the diversity. Then I think our prayer life should um, should follow suit. And um, you know sometimes it's it's necessary for me, like this morning. This um, you know um, it's necessary, very necessary for me to to begin with worship, to begin with with songs of praise. And um, especially if I'm if I'm not in a good place, especially if there's you know. If I'm struggling with a few things, then it always sort of lifts me up and it, it always helps me. And so, uh, you know, some days you just hit, you know, you, you, you hit that power zone, you hit that sweet spot, you know, even before you you start um, to speaking to the Lord. And so I think it's important for us that, um, that we shouldn't get involved in a rut. I think it's important for us that we should be diverse, that we should be creative. You know, I mean, um, especially in our worship as well. You know, some days I'll just sit on my knees. Other days I'll, you know, have my hands in the air. Other days I'll be, you know, sprawled on my face and just, you know, spread out before the Lord. And, yeah, you know, when you do things like that, then there's always a battle. And I think that's what I want to speak to you guys this morning is, is, is you know, spiritual warfare um, you know, the, you know, the, the writer of, of, of Ephesians, Paul talks about that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the the, the principalities, um, the the hosts and the spiritual powers in heavenly places, and 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 so we've got to. I think if we if we look at what are they doing, you know, what are what are the hosts doing? What are they trying? How do they access us? How do they change the outcome of an event? Well, they access our thought life, and they influence the way we think, and they try and. So, so what I want to say to you is, I mean, Paul said it very specifically that that fight the good fight of faith, and so the good fight of faith is 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 staying in that place where your faith and where your belief and where your trust is not moved. And remember Jesus said, um, and Paul for, for that matter, you know, Jesus said that, um, that Satan is coming, the God of this world is coming, and he will find nothing in me. Paul said it a different way. Paul said, none of these things move me. You know, so, you know, this morning before we start praying, you know, I want to ask you, what what moves you in your prayer life? What 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 does Satan have, and his and his and his demons have that um, that affect you in a negative way? That affect the way you pray, affect the way you communicate, affect the way you preach the gospel, or affect any of those things? How 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 does Satan affect you that way? That's your weakness, and we all have them. 
And so it's so important for us that when we, when we have these weaknesses that we can bring them. Because the Lord said, you know, when we are weak, He is strong. And so the focus, the focus I think this morning is this battlefield for the mind. You know, he, he, who, he who has victory here holds sway. So is that you? Or is that the, you know, these hosts in the heavenly places that want to make us depressed, that want to give us, make us negative, want to make us angry, want to make us lose our temper, want to make us hopeless, make us think that, you know, um, everybody's going to hell in a handbasket and God's not in control anymore. You see, that's all he has to do is just, just, just give us a slight lie, and then he's got us. And so that's why our prayer life, um, and that's why the spiritual warfare part of our prayer life is remaining on the rock, is remaining at the place. You know, there's a place. Remember we spoke about the secret place of the Most High. But there's a place that we can get to, and that, that place is a position that God gave us. He said we are positioned in heavenly places. Okay, we are seated in heavenly places at the right hand. It's Father God, Jesus Christ, and us. And right now we're seated there. And if you if you look at um, if you go and think of what what Pastor Corvus preached on on Sunday, then you know that position is this this eagle's eye of what's going on in the world around us. You know. We, we get drawn in to the flesh, we get drawn in to situations, we get drawn in to emotions, we get drawn in to fights, we get drawn in to, to differences, to you know, all sorts of conflicts. It's not our position, guys. Our position is together. We are seated. Okay, we are seated at the right hand of the Father in the heavenlies right now. That's our spiritual position. That's the position that we wage a good warfare where we wage a good fight as Paul put it so yeah I want to pray with you guys this morning on on from that position because the only thing the enemy wants to do is get you to a place where you don't see the beautiful creation but all you see is what Satan wants you to see negativity depression hopelessness discouragement and um, you know, just mayhem and, and death and murder and, and everything is just, and you know, so remember, he is the God of this world. And remember, he has access to every um, institution, whether that's government, whether that's news media, and he's very successful in that. So if you're feeding yourself off social media, if you're spending a lot of time listening to opinions out there. Guys, you're gonna struggle in your prayer life. You're not gonna be an effective watchman. You're not going to be able to, to really fight out of the right position. Because if you are praying out of fear, and you're praying out of, out of a position of, I don't want this to happen, that's not, that's not we are supposed to. As I said on Monday, we're supposed to be on the offensive, attack the gates of hell, and we can only do that when we are not fearful, when we are faithful, when we are in Christ, when we are in the Spirit. Those who worship me, worship me in spirit and in truth. And so, yeah, I just want to encourage you this morning. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I thank you for my brothers and my sisters, and I thank you, Lord, that your word says that we are seated in the heavenlies with you at the right hand of the Father because of what Jesus did. And so I want to pray for a revelation. Um, Lord, all of those watchmen in MCC right now that are listening to this message, Lord, Father God, would you inspire them? Would you empower them? Would you invigorate them? And Lord, would you just give them a zeal to pray, to pray, to, to not stop praying, Lord, because we, you are our most amazing example. Lord, you're still a high priest and you are still interceding for us. Even though you're seated in the heavenlies, we know that you are ministering at the tabernacle, the tabernacle that's not made by hands, but that is made in the heavens. And so, Lord, right now, I, I bring my brothers and my sisters in up. Lord, we are praying this week for revival. We are praying this week for 
victory it's not and we are praying for salvations and uh, we are praying for those who are backslidden and lord we just come before your throne of grace we thank you that you hear our prayer and we know that you said if we come to your throne with boldness in our time of need lord and thank you for that we just bless you in jesus name guys i hope you have an awesome day and um, i'm just going to enjoy the the view a little bit more and then it's off to it's off to work. Amen.